from a station working for you. This is a WRTV update. And I'm Lauren Casey. Here are your latest headlines. A man accused of killing a woman in another domestic related homicide is now facing formal charges. 28 year old Marco Pacheco Ailman is accused in the murder and death of a woman in this past Saturday on the south side of Indianapolis. That woman was found dead inside of a home on Lick Ridge Court and seven year old was missing for several hours before being found safe early the next morning. The suspect was later arrested in Floyd County in southern Indiana. A local artist is getting support from the community after one of his public artworks, a mural in the Fountain Square on the plaza, was vandalized. Last week, a vandal splattered paint all over it. Dan Thompson, known as Dan Hanskills, tells WRTV, tells WRTV that a friend of his got to work and quickly removed that paint and that was tan and white covering his mural. A GoFundMe has raised nearly $2,000 to help with the restoration effort, something Dan says he's grateful for. And basketball players and fans visiting the Circle City and a group of elementary school students are showing them a little Hoosier hospitality. Students from William McKinley School 39 wrote encouraging letters to the athletes arriving for March Madness. Teachers say they hope these letters put a smile on the players' faces and remind them the next generation is looking up to them as role models. Time now for a check of our forecast with Todd Claussen. And Lauren Sunshine is back in the forecast for the day today. Temperatures are in the 40s, so it's a little bit below normal. And we still have some wind that's going to be an issue throughout the day today. The wind will continue to diminish. That's the good news, uh, but it's a cool breeze out of the northeast and I'll keep temperatures in the 40s in most locations. A couple low 50s are possible here and there this evening. If you're out watching basketball or doing anything else, temperatures fall into the 30s very quickly under a clear sky. Warmer for the weekend though with plenty of sunshine, upper 50s on Saturday, 60s on Sunday. Todd, thanks for more stories and weather you need to know. Download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.